Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling certain because today our quote of the day is, I have devoted my life to uncertainty. Certainty is the death of wisdom, thought and creativity by Shekhar Kapoor. Now, this quote is all about the importance of uncertainty. Well, rather not the importance, but the inevitability of uncertainty. We are now all living in times of great uncertainty. Uncertainty for our health, for our financial situation, and even uncertainty about our relationships. These are trying times indeed, if we ever had any. And it is, all, it is taking a toll on everyone. Under normal conditions, uncertainty and change are unavoidable, and now even more so. Many people under such cases of uncertainty may tend to find themselves procrastinating and just avoiding making any decisions. Many people uh, prefer to delay or postpone taking any action in an attempt to preserve what is there for them. But we know that this is just like sticking your head inside the sand. You must be awake and see what is happening and deal with uncertainty and try different directions that will keep you moving forward. As we now know, life can become can completely change for in, in, in a single moment. But the question is whether this is necessarily a bad thing or not. Uncertainty can bring many good things into our life and not only difficult things. Sometimes we may need a real shake in our life to see that perhaps a change really does need to happen. Doing the same things, doing the same things we did in the past may no longer serve us or be relevant or even good for us in the future. Uh, uncertainty teaches us how to adapt. And as I mentioned in a previous video, our ability to adapt is the best indicator of our level of success that we will reach. I will link a video at the end of this video to that video. <laughs> now, coping with uncertainty helps us increase our resiliency and helps us learn to overcome challenges. This makes us grow as individuals and become better versions of ourselves. We now realize that there are probably no jobs that are there for life and no guarantees for good health and there is never any certainty about what a new day will bring to us. When we search for certainty, we will always suffer disappointment. And trying to prevent uncertainty only leads to excessive worry and anxiety and frustration. When we look back at the most uncertain times that we had in our life, we can see that in the end, these uncertain times led to much needed change. We will also notice that when we look back, we will see how we underestimated our abilities to cope with change. These uncertain times are an excellent opportunity to challenge our need for certainty. When we let go of our need for certainty, we also let go of the negative, of many negative behaviors. We will also reduce worry and stress and become overall happier people. Yesterday, I was driving my car with my children and all of a sudden, a red indicator light came on in my screen and about one minute later, the car stopped in the middle of the road. <laughs> My daughters got really, really nervous, but it was amazing to see how many people came to our help. In the end, we found out that the radiator in my car had broken down and this had affected all the electricity in the car as well. So as the day went by, I had the car towed to a garage and it will be ready next week because this evening is New Year's Eve celebrations here in Israel. And uh, this is something that I, of course, did not plan to happen. And of course, it changed my plans and my day and also my upcoming uh, plans for my days. But there is nothing you can do when surprises like these enter your life. But you can, however, choose to focus on the positive side of things. And I, I, I looked for them. They were not, it was not easy to find at the time, but I saw the positive side of things that I was lucky that this happened to us, first of all, on a main street. And, uh, and that many cars were driving past and it was such a hot day yesterday that um, people actually took my children into their car and put on the air condition while they were helping me. So 
how many people were helping me. It's, it's just incredible. And uh, also it happened about three hours before everything closed down for the evening. And um, I also, through this incident, found a really nice garage within walking distance of my home. So I walked home uh, yesterday from the garage and I'm happy that my car will be fixed and in better shape after this whole ordeal is over. And it will be in a much better shape than it was beforehand. So changing our perception about uncertainty is not an easy task since our brains perceive uncertainty as a real threat. But we must overcome this resistance in order to reach our higher potential. Many people are really uh, into trying to remove uncertainty from their lives through numerology, astrology, and tarot cards, and all different different ways. But nobody really, because nobody really likes to be in the unknown. But we all are in the unknown at all times, whether we understand it or like it or not. We are in the unknown. And the best way to cope with uncertainty is to, first of all, accept it. Acceptance allows us to move forward from where we really are in reality. And when we accept reality and accept our feelings about reality, we have a strong foundation to move forward. Of course, this doesn't mean that we have to accept that things will never change for us. It just means that we accept where we are and where things are currently right now. When we accept, we are not resisting to what resisting what is. And when we resist what is, this will only prolong discomfort and pain. As the saying goes, what we resist persists. And this is true as I found it in my life. Now, I want to give you a few more recommendations to help you cope with uncertainty. And the first one is caring for your health in the best possible way. For this, I recommend joining my online Gorilla Health Boot Camp. Because caring for your health is absolutely the best way to cope with any uncertainty in life. Because when you have your health figured out, you have a solid foundation for coping with all that life throws at you. I also recommend watching and reading less of the news during uncertain times. Because when watching the news, uh, this can really increase your fear levels. It is easy to believe in a reality where everything is dangerous, scary, or a disaster when this is what you see on the news on a daily basis. Therefore, it is best to hold off watching the news since it does not provide the whole picture. It only provides the negative half because only the negative half really sells. People uh, go in and are addicted to watching it because this is what sells. We start to believe that our worst nightmares are happening right now, but most often they are only happening in our minds and not in our real life. We may feel unsafe, threatened, and fearful, all because of the thoughts that we entertain in our mind because of the news that we constantly see. So you must put a stop to it. You must find things to be grateful for and sort out whatever problem is the most difficult at the moment for you and can bring you the most hardship if you, don't, if you neglect it. Negativity is a setup for failure. You do have the power to help yourself. So do not get into the powerlessness loop. Take responsibility and do what you can to help yourself. There are many different ways to help solve uh, your, difficulties, your difficulties. Take action in the right direction and try to stop procrastination. Remember that when nothing is certain, everything is open to possibility. Uncertainty is a fact of life. So let's use it for our advantage to help us form possibilities in our life. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life in a better direction for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life do I feel most uncertain? And where in my life is this uncertainty of most influence on my life? And can I focus my efforts on making the best I can out of the current situation and bring it to my side? I recommend, as usual, writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can, uh, so that you can reflect on your answers and see how you can move your life to a better place for you. So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, things are uncertain, but I have the power to handle them. Things are uncertain, but I have the power to handle them. So 
Tell this to yourself, this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if you um, want to receive no notifications every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorillaguide.com, to help you move your health to a better, uh, healthier place for you. Thank you very much for joining.